Airtel Plaza, located near the Van Nuys Airport here in Los Angeles, is host to a pretty unique event called the LA Amp Show. What makes this a unique show is, uh, unlike other guitar shows, you can actually crank up the amps here, and it's all about the amps. So let's go inside and check it out. I'm here in the Celestian room. Daryl, what's new with Celestian this year? Well, this year we're uh, demoing the, the Copperback speaker. It's a 250 watt Neo speaker, so if you want all that power but you don't want all the weight, it's, it's definitely uh, gonna handle all that. We also have a, a few other things too, the Alnico Cream, the Red Back, and also the uh, G12H Cream Back. So we have a few things for you to check out, and actually 15 inch full back. A little bit of everything for everybody. How does that compare to some of the other cele um, speakers selections? On the on the copper back, um, since it's it's high power, of course, a lot of people want a, a, a 112 now that can handle just about anything it does. It's a little bit uh, different flavor though uh, versus a lot of the selections people are familiar with. We're kind of known for that mid-range bite to it. It's a little bit flatter, so a pretty pretty smooth sound, and it'll it'll maintain that at a, a high volume for you. This is Rick Skillman from. Uh, Celestian speakers. Rick, tell me about the history of Celestian. Celestian's been around since 1924, so uh, a long time. Um, Celestian started out as a company that became known for supplying uh, uh, like consumer audio, like big stereo consoles, and they did speakers for, you know, in the UK for like the, uh, the, the town, um, you know, the center of town, like loudspeaker on a stick saying, you know, tea time. <laughs> so they did all kinds of unique things. They provided uh, speakers to the uh, uh, like the Royal Navy for like submarine use and such and um, and it was I, I think it was 1953 Vox um, was a little startup company and uh, and Celestian at the time was located right off the the uh, uh, Thames in London area and um, we supplied speakers to like radio they call them radio spares stores so it'd be almost like a, a English Radio Shack if you will and so the guys from Vox, as I understand it, um, were developing an amplifier and they kind of went there and got this general purpose 12, the G12 was a general purpose loudspeaker. And that was kind of the birthplace of, uh, you know, that British sound, rock and roll. And um, obviously we've carried on since and um, we're still going strong, passionate. Uh, we obviously are very strong in the world of guitar, but what a lot of people do not realize is about 70% of our business is pro audio. So when you go to a concert and you're listening, whether it's all the way up to 21 inch, 21 inch subwoofers and 18s to um, some of the little, you know, two and three inch speakers, like you'll see in one of these column PAs, um, some of the biggest brands. So I can think it's like seven of the top 10 PA brands in the world use Celestian. And who did I come across but Dino Cazares from how you doing? Fear Factory. How you doing? Dino, how are you? I'm great. All right, I'm here at tell the, uh, I'm here at the Amp Show 2018. I'm here at the Celestian Room, and uh, I've been a long time Celestian player. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Dino Cazares. Most of you know me from bands called Fear Factory, Asesino, Divine Heresy, and Brujeria. So, uh, of all, all those bands I mentioned, I've been using uh, Marshalls, I've been using uh, JC May Hunter Marshalls for a long time. That's been my, you know, part of my signature tone. Um, and of course, what goes well with Marshalls? Celestian speakers. Um, so I've been using the V30s for, oof, since the beginning of my career. 
Uh, I've been using them for a long time. So all those classic records that you hear, you know, D Manufacture, Obsolete, Soul of a New Machine, Digi Mortal, uh, Genexus, all the, way, all the way up to Genexus, our last record. Uh, I've been using the V30s. So I found my way into the Head Rush room. Uh, I'm here with... Mike with Head Rush. Mike, tell us about Head Rush. Hey, what's up guys? So, Head Rush is the world's first standalone amp sim with a quad core internal processor and a touchscreen interface. And the idea here is we wanted to make it uh, just really super easy and intuitive for guitar and bass players to dive right in and create tones that they can use to perform, jam, and create. If you take a look at the screen here, this is the way it defaults when you go into create a new rig. This is 11 empty blocks. And uh, let's just dive right in so you can see the menu. Hit one of the empty blocks. You see all the different categories here. Create amps. We make an amp selection. Automatically pairs it with a complementary cabinet. So that way right out of the gate, you got a tone that's viable that you can work with. We have all the IO that you need for live performance. Also a full featured interface for recording. So you have everything that you need to create, perform, record from start to finish. How does this compare to the offerings from Line 6, uh, Fractal, etc.? Well, the biggest difference, what we bring to uh, the table, is we have the quad-core internal processor. So it's, it's twice the processing power of, of most everything else out there, especially the guys that you brought up. And no one has the touchscreen interface. So diving in is a lot easier. It's a lot more user-friendly. Well, what's it sound like? Hey, let's check it out. Let's go ahead and develop this sound a little bit more. So here I am in the Eventide room with Joe with Eventide. Welcome everybody. Welcome to the LA Amp Show. We're actually uh, showing, showcasing our newest product. It's called the Eventide Power Max. It's a power supply that has seven isolated outputs and each output is switchable between 9, 12, 15 and 18 volts. So you no longer have to worry about maybe running your favorite overdrive at 18 and then having a power supply that has two or three dedicated 18 volt outlets and you're kind of stuck not having to use some of them because you can't switch them. Well, uh, this takes care of that. Uh, it's a universal power supply, so whether you're traveling through South America, Europe, or the States, it'll work wherever you are. And you also have a USB output, so you can charge your favorite mobile devices and there's even some MIDI controllers on the market that are bus powered. So Power Max will be $199, available in October, your favorite retailer. I've made it into the Line 6 room and I'm here with Tony from Line 6. Tony, tell us what you guys are showing off today. We're showing off all the good stuff, man. So, of course we have our, our Helix family out on display here. This is the original floor model. I, think, uh, I don't think this really needs an introduction at this point. Most people are familiar with Helix. We have Helix LT, which is um, almost the exact same thing. Uh, and then we have uh, one of our newer items, HX Effects right here. Uh, this is basically all of the effects from the original Helix uh, minus the amp models. So if you already have an amp that you like to use or a modeler that you are preferential to, uh, you can just use HX Effects. And these are all the, the, uh, the effects from Helix. So it's great. And then uh, down here on the floor, we have our brand new hot out of the kitchen uh, power cab 112 and power cab 112 plus. Um, the similarities for these guys, uh, obviously, these give you the amp in the room feeling if you're a guitar player, which guitar players are used to having. So this helps everything feel a little more natural. These are made to go with your Helix modeler or your HD 500X uh, or any other of the other brands of modelers that are popular now too. This works with all of that. 
Power Cap 112 has is it uh, we have several different speaker IRs in this guy so you can choose which one you want or you can just run it as flat and use your uh, IRs from the Helix itself if you prefer to do that or you can save a little DSP and just use an amp with no cabinet in your Helix and use one of the speaker IRs here. Uh, Power Cab 112 Plus has a couple more bells and whistles. Uh, this actually has the ability to hold third-party IRs that you can load on here yourself uh, if you have another way of getting IR speaker IRs that you want to load on here and have. And it's a little easier to navigate just because all the controls are on top and you have a really easy to read display right here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but as I scroll through, you can see the different speaker models. And then, of course, as you go over a little farther down, you have all these open blank presets for you to load your own IRs. And it also has this handy kickback feature. So you can really hear yourself. I came across Pete Thorne while I was walking around. So Pete, what's new with you? What's uh, going on? Oh man, I just got back from Japan. I was there for like three months and had a great tour. Came back and then I went over to the UK and Germany for about a week. So just to knock the jet lag right in the ass. I just go all the way over there. And I did uh, some clinics, so that was super fun. At Toman and Peach Guitars and I uh, went to the uh, uh, guitar uh, summit, which is in Mannheim, Germany. Really, really cool show, uh, big guitar show. Uh, that I'd never been to, so that was fun. And then I came home, working on videos and stuff, you know, trying to get a bunch of work done, because next week I gotta go to Germany again, and that's for uh, GitCon, the big YouTube guitar conference thing, yeah. And uh, so, have you come across any new gear lately that has caught your attention? Um, well, I did a video recently on my channel for a couple compressors, actually. The Compi from Ch uh, Shelly uh, uh, pedals is really, really nice kind of four knob. It sounds boutique, but it's not real expensive. It's like 129 I think, something like that. I hope I'm not misquoting the price, but it's a nice price and it's a great compressor. And then the other one is the, uh, and I'm forgetting the name right now, the Unit 67, that's it, from Dry Bell, which is also a compressor, but it's also got a Range Master Cell Boost built in, so kind of an interesting combo combination of effects 1176 style compression with this mids of a range master it sounds kind of weird sounds like magic it sounds amazing wakes up any amp it just makes your tone like you can put it bunch put it in front of any sound and it just makes it better so cool and uh, when can we look forward to some new music from you well I just put out a record oh you did so, yeah well, tell me about the record okay so yeah I didn't mention that Pete Thorne 2 came out uh, in June so it's been out for a few months now uh, you can get it everywhere. It's on iTunes, Amazon, Spotify if you must. I hate Spotify, but it's on Spotify. <laughs> Streaming and all that. Uh, so yeah, that'll be it for a minute. I got that record out and it's like, whew, another new one out. So I think uh, maybe in the future what I might do is uh, start just putting out singles occasionally. Instead of, instead of doing like the full 10 tracks or whatever, just people seem to like the constant uh, you know, the output being steady, maybe over digesting 10 songs at a time. So I, I think there's, there might be some value to maybe putting out a song or two or an EP every now and then more than doing like the full-blown record every couple years or something. So that's my plan. I made it into the Boss room and I'm here with Jeff, the product manager for Boss US. Yes. Uh, please tell us what's new with Boss. What's new with Boss? We got lots of fun and exciting things. One, we've come out with recently the uh, new wireless system, right, which we're showing off here. Uh, Aaron, would you mind tossing me one of those? I will show you guys all about it. Right. So, like this is, for example, is the WL20. The WL20 is uh, this WL20L. There's WL20, and then there's a pedal version of this. These are awesome because these allow you to have uh, super fast latency, rechargeable bat battery. The latency is 2.3 uh, milliseconds, so just your dynamic. It feels great. Um, these guys, uh, when they're charged, they'll last about 10 hours. Um, you know, they have an auto sleep function on them. Just really, really nice. And they do an auto identification thing. So, like, uh, the channel select on it isn't, there's no physical buttons to select. You just plug these guys in, they blink for a minute, figure out what channels are good for them, and you plug in your guitar. So, I'm carrying here two 50 foot cables that are awesome and sound amazing. Right? And as I said, there's a pedal version of that as well. Right? So, we're excited about that. Uh, additional to that, uh, you know, we got lots of new pedals out uh, at this show. A lot of people have been really excited about the JV2 pedal, which is a pedal that we came out with about a year ago, and it's a combination of our classic BV2 pedal 
and uh, a good friend of ours, Joss from JHS, worked with us to put an Angry uh, Charlie inside of it. So it's called Angry Driver because it's a blue driver and an Angry Charlie in it. And what's awesome about that pedal is uh, um, it can be either or, or, or combinations of the two together. Uh, serial from the uh, JHS into the blue driver or vice versa, right? And then also my favorite, parallel. So you can kind of put one kind of clean up underneath it and kind of like that. So those are fun. In Amp World, because we are at the LA Amp Show, we have got, uh, got several new versions of, of amplifiers that we've been coming out with recently, like the uh, Katana Artist. Uh, this guy over here, there's been a lot of love for the uh, smaller Katana Artist, and people have been asking us for a pro-level uh, version of Artist, so we brought, brought this thing up. Uh, um, really excited about it. It's got the new Wasa speaker inside of it which is uh, a speaker we designed for a Waza amplifier, which was a touring class amplifier we came out with a few years ago. So uh, we put that speaker inside of there, which is a bigger, more hefty, like Greenback 25-ish kind of thing, but with 100 watts, because uh, we needed that, and a bigger cabinet, and uh, of course, uh, has a speaker select on it, so you can actually put, connect the additional speaker cabinets or, or around each other things. And that's part of the Katana line, which is of course, uh, you know, everything from the head and 212 to a 212, a 112 and the 112 50 watt. These are extremely popular as well. Along with those, uh, still continue with both, right? The wireless and, of course, the, the, the Katana is Katana Air, right? These have just really started shipping in, in good quantities right now. Katana Air is super fun because it has a wireless, just like the WL20 that we showed you a minute ago. Pull this out, plug it into your guitar, jam anywhere. Uh, this thing can be battery operated or power operated, uh, and same fast latency on it. I can also use my phone to edit my presets inside of here, because it's just like all katanas, it's got the five core sounds, it's got three simultaneous effects, there's 15 effects to choose from it, but via the editor, either on the big units or the small units, you can get 58 different boss quality effects to choose from. So you get those, if that wasn't enough, with this guy you can use your phone and Bluetooth audio to it. So you can sit around, listen to it for music, the whole family can use it for, for music. When you want to jam, start playing, right? Uh, want to annoy your kids, start jamming over top of their songs, right? Just say it. So, uh, but what's great about this is this thing also has a sleep function on it. And so, you know, what's one thing that happens to us all the time? How many times do you not plug your guitar in? Because like somehow turning on the amp, finding a cable, just is a slight rub that you don't go get past. So I, I often play my electrics acoustically. What I love about this is the sleep function. If I set the guitar down, it will auto sleep and fall, fall asleep on, on the couch. When I pick it up, the movement of my guitar will wake up this and the amplifier. So it's sort of like just having an acoustic lay in there and when I want to jam over the TV or my what's on my phone or whatever's going on, I'm ready to go. So these are awesome and they're cheap at shipping in good, good quantity. Does it, uh, does it have a line in? Uh, so like I could plug in like a, something else to, or stream to it to, to play You can with, stream with, with from with your something? phone. Yeah, so, so there's an app on your phone for editing the presets and stuff like that. And then there's also the ability for you to uh, um, uh, Bluetooth from this right right over to there. Okay, right? that's, so, that's a cool product. Yeah, it's a really fun, fun, fun feature. And of course, let's not forget another thing, which would be our new flagship product, the GT1000. GT1000 is a multi-effects guitar processor and effect processor, and it is the highest quality fidelity uh, ADD D to A that's out there in the market. And it features a new thing which we call Air, which is augmented impulse response dynamics. Right? Those are our amp tones that are inside of it. Because what's the big thing that's important about any amp that you're using? Well, it's the feel, right? Because you can be bright, you can be dark, whatever, right? That's just a filter. But when it comes down to the way the amp feels in your hands, that's what we find most important. And that's what you'll find true on all the Katana amps, the Blues Cube amps, the Waza amps, and now it's available in a, a portable product. What's great about this is that it's the biggest, brightest display that we can get that can handle stage life. This thing's meant to be a touring class pedal board, right, that it's small, because what's the big problem that most bands have touring today, right, there's no cartage. People have to take things on planes, right? So it's smaller than, than uh, previous products that we've made and a lot of the competition that's out there. And what's also fun about it, is while it's got you know every single effect that's available and it's always available so you'll never run out of memory or anything like that it's got a lot of the effects quality uh, high quality effects from the uh, 500 series like the db 500 rb 500 and mb 500 and of course it is bluetooth editable just like the phone we were talking about so i can put all my presets on my phone or my ipad my tech can be over in the corner uh, uh, dialing in my sound as i'm playing live 
right? Uh, it's just really an awesome device. These have been uh, really taken over a lot, a lot of uh, credibility in the marketplace, right? Because they just feel like the guitar player wants to feel it. So that's kind of the quick overview of things that are going on this year with Boss, and we're here at the LA Amp Show. And I'm uh, just happy to be here. So one of the more high-profile amp builders that uh, I know is Dave Friedman. Dave, how are you today? I'm okay. What new products are you showing well, off? Well, I was at the bar for a while, and I'm... <laughs> <laughs> we have our new uh, uh, No More Tears Gold 72 Wah that's in the room. We have our uh, BEOD Deluxe. We have our Golden Pearl pedal. Um, that's what's brand new. That's finally coming out. We showed it last NAM, but it's finally on its way out the door. The, the, uh, it's getting hatched, so to speak. <laughs> I've made it into the room for the company New X, and I'm here with Dave. Dave, tell me what you guys are doing here. Uh, for New X, we're happy to be here, first of all. And uh, primarily what we focus on are pedals guitar pedals to be more specific. Um, so you can see here, we have our whole lineup of pedals here, uh, from compressor boost pedals to delay pedals to uh, cab simulation pedals to rotary pedals, looping pedals. Uh, you name it, we pretty much do it at NuX. Um, in addition to that, we make wireless systems now for guitars and soon to be microphones. And how our wireless systems work is they take your existing microphone uh, and you can just plug the wireless right into it and turn an SM58 or something like that into a wireless microphone. Um, and our wirelesses are all USB rechargeable. So as you can see, this is the guitar wireless here called the B2. This is the whole unit, a transmitter and a receiver right here. And it's all USB battery powered. You'll get about 10 hours of battery life out of each charge on that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, another great product we're showing off is the New X Stageman Acoustic Amp. It's a 50 watt acoustic amp uh, with chorus and reverb built in. The cool thing about this amp, it's the only amp in the entire world that has a Bluetooth connected foot switch that has a looper built into it so you can record your own ideas and do endless overdubs. Uh, so this is a great feature for the Stageman app and it's the only app out there that has a foot controller pedal like this so you can do your channel switching, turn your effects on and off, turn your drum machine on and off right here on the uh, Bluetooth pedal. Uh, another great product we're, we've just unveiled is this little Bluetooth player uh, for your cell phone, um, but it's also a guitar desktop amp. It's called the Mighty Light? Mighty Light BT. <laughs> and again, this has the drum, drum machine built in, delay, reverb, three different channels of drive, so you have clean, overdrive, and distortion, um, gain, volume, and then this also comes with an app uh, so not only is it a Bluetooth player for your phone, so you can play your music through this, uh, but it also has an app where you can control all of the guitar sounds, modulation, reverb, delay. You have four different delays, four different reverbs built into the app that uh, work with this little amp here. Oh, and it's battery powered. It's USB powered, uh, or it's, as you can see, the typical power cord in there plugged into the wall. So that's pretty exciting. And we've got lots of catalogs. Uh, oh, and one other thing, yes. The Cerberus has been one of our hottest selling products. What's great about this is it has an analog side for your disc. Uh, distortion and overdrive, and then it has a digital side for your effects, uh, like delay, reverb, modulation. Um, and it's basically, the, the best way to characterize this is taking your pedal board and kind of building it all into one unit. So and it has a massive amount of presets, uh, the way you want to, uh, uh, what's the word? <laughs> You can go in series, parallel, you can make your reverb after your delay, you can, you can change the order of everything. So basically you can set this up and then preset it exactly the way you like it. It has an IR out, it has eight different uh, cab simulations in here, but you can also go online and download your own custom one if you want to or something that you uh, got third party off the web. So this is a pretty cool little fly rig unit called Cerberus. Uh, it's doing really well for us. Cool. 
One more thing. These two pedals are my favorite oh, pedals we make. Uh, this one here on my left is called the Atlantic, and that is a delay and a reverb pedal. Um, and then on the reverbs, you have your spring plate and hall. On your delays, you have 60s, 70s, 80s delay. Um, and then you have this awesome shimmer effect where you hold that down and it kind of makes the overtones cascade all together and it just sounds dreamy and really cool. Um, and then the other pedal is basically a rotary and an octaver built into one pedal. And it also has polyphonic organ type horn sounds as well. I call it Deep Purple in a Box, uh, but it's just a great sounding, unique pedal. Um, it's doing really well for us. So that kind of covers some of the highlights of what we're doing and business is good. We're having a great year. And we're glad to be here at the LA Amp Show. This is Joel Jones with Simple Amps. Joel, tell me about your amplifiers. Hey, uh, great. Well, we have, uh, we've been to market uh, for 10 years. We came to the first amp show uh, in uh, 2008, and it's 10 years later. We've got some of our old line here, and we've got some of our uh, new releases and an anniversary edition. So it's a simple amp, just as that with a, a tone and a volume. There are all the controls. We believe in hands, you're using your, using your hands to play, and uh, using the controls that are on the guitar. So a lot of touch, a lot of touch sensitivity, and a lot of warm overdrive. So uh, it's a simple, simple preamp sections, uh, but we like to treat, uh, we like to treat the uh, each tube, is uh, each tube with its own because it has its own flavor. We've got uh, six V6s, EL34s, and six L6s, which you'll be hearing in some of the tone samples to, uh, to come. Uh, but we love doing it, and uh, we love putting putting good tone in people's hands. So I've made it into the Viper Guitars room and this is Jeff. How's Jeff, tell us about Viper Guitars. Well, Viper Guitars are uh, United States made here in California, custom made guitars. Um, I have a series of production models that I do, five standard designs, and then I do custom builds, signature guitars for artists like Ronnie here and a number of others that uh, do special builds, one-off requests. So. I can kind of build anything you want, um, and uh, like all the way down to the fret wire, whatever you pick, I kind of can build and customize it exactly what you're looking for. Well, tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about what makes your guitars different than someone else's. Like, what, what, what yeah. are your different models and such? Well, it's like the GT. Um, they're all handmade. Um, they're not made, you know, stamping out in China or whatever, like a lot of guitars are made. Ah, right. <laughs> but they're all handmade. They're really set up for comfort and feel. They're light, uh, all alder bodies. Uh, the cutouts are made for lots of access for your hand, for example. You can reach the fret super easy. Uh, they're nice and light. They're well balanced. Um, they got awesome finishes. Um, the, the necks are set up nice and thin, super fast. Um, and uh, really, they're just made for shredding, you know, honestly. But they sound really good clean, too. So check this out, the Millennium Falcon guitar. Yes. Tell me about it, introduce yourself, tell me about the guitars. My name is Billy Jazz, uh, I've been making these uh, Millennium Falcon guitars. Um, cool thing about these guitars right here is I put in the Evertune bridge, which basically means that uh, you can hang it on the wall and it'll always be in tune when you want to when you want to grab it. Too. I'm here with Lonnie Spector. Lonnie is the man behind the Amp Show. Lonnie, tell me about the history of the Amp Show. Actually, the Amp Show has to go back to 1983 at the uh, when I started something called the LA Guitar Show. And the reason I started that show is because I had never been to the NAM uh, show. And uh, I used, used to have to wait for magazines to come out with the reviews of the shows, the NAM show. So I went to the newsstand and grabbed a copy of Guitar Player magazine and without opening it, and I just took it home and I sat on the john and opened it up and reading, you know, wanted to see the NAM report. And looking at 
flipping through it, all the pictures that were black and white pictures had reproduced black. In other words, somehow a printing error had occurred and I'm flipping through it and there's no pictures that you could see the new guitar products that was in that issue. I'm guessing it was like an April issue or something of guitar play. So I went to uh, to the local music store in Reseda where I used to be uh, friends with a couple of people there. And, and I brought the magazine. I said, look at this. How come a guy like me has to wait all this time to like see what's happening with musical instruments only to like put up with this nonsense? Why isn't there a show a guy can just walk into a consumer kind of event? And so uh, the owner, uh, Mike, says to me, well, why don't you put on a show like the LA Guitar Show? I cold called different manufacturers and at that first show, I, I had, uh, just from cold calling them, telling them what I wanted to do, I had Rickenbacker, ESP, uh, Schechter, and then I had Musicians Institute, I had Norman's Rare Guitars, and a couple other guitar vintage guys. And so we did that show, and uh, by the end of that show, we had a live jam on stage with uh, Ingve Malmsteen and Frank Gambale and uh, Greg Bissonette and uh, it became like a very cool thing that had happened. So I did it again and again and it got bigger and bigger and then it kind of like fizzed out around 1990. So then like years later my brother calls me up and goes hey Lonnie you remember that guy that used to help us out when we, you know, did the big shows down at the Hyatt at LAX? A guy named Miles. And I go, yeah, I remember him. Well, he lives near you. But, you know, I've been hearing guitar playing coming from somewhere echoing around the hills. And he goes, yeah, I test guitars out for guys like Carl Verheyen and all these other artists. And I, I what I do is I uh, mess with their amplifiers and you know, dial those amps in and change the tubes and all that stuff. I go, well, what do you do during the day? He goes, I work at Groove Tubes now. And I go, what do you do there? Oh, I'm on the phone and I answer emails from all of these independent amp makers, so technical questions and stuff. I said, well, how many amp companies are there now? He goes, I've got a database of about 80 small companies and individuals that are all hand making amplifiers. I go, wow. Well, why isn't there a show just about amps? He goes, why don't you do one? So here we are. It's 14 years later. It's great. It's the only show like it in the world. That's going to wrap things up for me this time from the Amp Show in LA. Hope you liked what you saw. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see more of my videos. Hope all is well out there. See you next time.